Hi everyone and welcome to Fun with Code. So three days ago, I have received a comment from Original Movies. So he wanted to send one single WhatsApp WhatsApp message to millions of WhatsApp users, and he also said that he have stored users' phone numbers in Excel and Notepad. So that's an interesting question and here is the answer. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. So as you said, you have stored phone user's phone number in notepad i would assume that you have stored it in the text file either in this way or you have separated them using semicolons or or colons or any special characters or you have not used any of them then also it's fine if you have if you have one number in one line so what we can do if you have stored it in a text file you can you can say with open and then you are going to say the you are going to pass the file path here so 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 you'll pass the file path and you'll say R because we are going to read the file we are not going to write anything as R and we are let's say we we need whatever is in the text uh, is in the text file first so we need to get whatever is in the text file let's say R dot R dot read that's it and let's just say print W let's just make this into a comment so now you see now you can see that we have we have the data from the text file now the next step is we want python to read each number as separate separate element in a list so that it would be easier for us when we are using it in a for loop so we can say we let's create another variable called x which will be equal to w dot split we are going to say i'm going to say slash n because i'm after every new line starts i want python to split the text there so if you have used semicolon or colon there you can just say semicolon or colon here because that is what's up that is separating the numbers so i will say slash n now if now if you print x now you can see that we have them we have all these numbers in a list so we can access them separately so now let's create a for loop let's say for i in range we are going to start from 0 comma len x so we don't know how many elements are in the list so we are going to use len function here and then we are going to we are going to run this program so this is going to be inside the so this is going to be inside the for loop so here in the number place you all you need to do is just type i that's it and this will do this will do the work so how does this work so for every element in the list so it will so i will be let's say for the first element i will be equal to the first number 
and then we are going to say pywatkit.send message so in in the number place we are passing i and we are saying thanks for subscribing and some other parameters so next this is not necessary actually for now let's say for now let's say print i for now let's say let's just say print i actually instead of using range function here for i in x we have to use for i in x then if you run the program you'll have this so now you can access each number separately and you can send the message to any number of people you want so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe